Good Friday morning guys Made it to the weekend day And it's a special weekend day for me I've only got half a day to do So uh, what's up what's, Half a day for us is like half the hour So it's a seven hour day So I work three and a half hours today And I'm on my way So it's half seven now Eleven o'clock That's me finished for the weekend I get Monday off as well Just using up my holiday So Monday's off so nice long weekend for me and i tell you what these days have been murder because for the last two weeks i've known i've known i've had three days off here and like one and a half days off here and then i know it's christmas coming up we'll be off on next friday working christmas eve off next friday but it's just it's like a tease if you know what i mean so it's not really been that i don't know it's weird it's really hard to describe because i know i'm off on holiday for Christmas, oh, that's me. Text that with Michelle at work. Um, so no one finishing next Friday for 10 days. It's kind of, I don't know, it's very unusual. I'm off on holiday and I'm not getting the holiday spirit. But mind you, on the way in, listening to Kirsty McCall and the Progues, uh, fairy tale of Christmas, yeah, getting me in the mood. I'm starting to feel it a little bit because I've kind of not been feeling Christmas, it's weird this year. I think it's just the 2020 syndrome. Well, anyway, I better get in. Better text Michelle back so let her know I'm here safely. Now get in and do me three and a half hours. That's me on my way home from work. I'm on holiday now till Tuesday. And I'll tell you what, what a quick morning. Apart from the last half hour when I realised how close it was to going home and then that dragged. But yeah, quick morning. Hardly got anything done. Or it felt like I hardly got anything done. Yeah, now I'm going to go home and I have no idea what I'm going to do for the rest of the day other than what I want. Which is probably, as usual, very little. Just wait for Michelle to get home. Uh, she'll be home in a few hours and we'll take it from there and we'll start the weekend. But, um, yes, go home and surprise the cat. Moving on. Okay, guys. We've got a meat delivery. Yeah, very exciting meat delivery. It's a Christmas meat delivery. So, bacon. Mm -hmm. Gravy. Gravy. Hey. Boost. And then if I do that. More gravy. And more gravy. And even more gravy, yeah. Or not without be without gravy. No. Um, this oh, oh. is our carvery rib roast, bone in. Beautiful, isn't it? Yep. That's got to be gorgeous. This is our beef rib trim that we like. For making the stew. Mm -hmm. I got a pack of that when I ordered everything else. Oh. Oh. We've got baby Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. So you're safe, sprouts. Because I wasn't going to buy any. Uh, goose fat roast potatoes times one, two, three. Goose fat roast potatoes times three. More baby Brussels sprouts. Dauphinois potatoes. This is like a meat chocolate box. It just keeps going. 
Um, braised red cabbage. More baby Brussels sprouts. So baby Brussels sprouts times three. So that's the next three years worth. Dauphinois potatoes times two. Braised red cabbage times three. And then we've got cauliflower cheese. More cauliflower cheese. Cauliflower cheese. Even more cauliflower cheese, you're absolutely right. And we've got eight pork chipolatas wrapped in bacon and fruity festive stuffing. And that's it guys, and that is what we will be eating in 2021, by the looks of it. And potentially 2022. Because we're in lockdown.